Mm. Hello. Okay, looks like everything's good and we are on live. I'm actually live without a filter. First time in a while, but anyways. Hello, hello for those watching the replay. Welcome, so happy you're here and make sure while you're watching the replay, feel free to ask any questions or put any comments below. I would love to hear from you. Let me know you've watched. Okay, give me a like even, <laughs> like or love. And also feel free to share this video. If you think there's someone who's like, oh my God, someone else would love to know about this, share it. I would love that. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just going to check um, and make sure this is live and how everything and if everything is okay. And then I'm going to share it to my Facebook group. Women Living Boldly 50 Plus, that is my Facebook group. Oopsie. Practice. Slow connection. I hope I don't lose this. Um, I could switch to data, but I'm not sure if my data will. Hi, Catherine. It looks like that's Catherine. <laughs> not sure if my data would actually work because it's I've used up almost most so much of my data. Okay. Just sharing in my Facebook group. Welcome, welcome. If I, it shuts down. I will just come back on. So there'll just be another one if it shuts down. So if you're watching the replay too, if all of a sudden it shuts off, look for part two. Because that often happens. It is Catherine. Hello. So happy you're here and someone else is here, it looks like. Unless that's me <laughs> on my computer. Oh, did I say 5.30? Well, good God. <laughs> I, hope, I think I said five. Oh my goodness, I hope I said five. Anyways, for those watching, hello, nice to uh, have you here. Yeah, 5 p.m., good. 5 p.m., perfect. And, yeah, let's get started because people will come on. The replay is going to be up on my personal page in my group. It's not going down. I'm even going to share it to, to YouTube. If you aren't on my YouTube channel, please go follow me on YouTube. You never know what's going to happen with Facebook. So, I, And I have been doing YouTube for 10 years. My views don't show it, but that's because I keep changing what I talk about. <laughs> I started talking about raw food, then menopause, and then this, and so it's just crazy. So anyways, but I'm happy you are here. Yeah, YouTube is my name, Diana Marchand. So make sure you're subscribed to me there. Okay. So what I'm talking about today is something that's made a, a profound difference in my life. Um, when I started doing these morning practices and morning rituals, um, is that Kate? Hi, Kate. I could not believe what a difference it's made in my life. Now, so I am, okay, it's saying slow connection, so let's just pray. I am a person who is quite hyper. I'm a doer. That means I love to do. I love to be busy. I don't like to sit a lot at all. So I'm kind of one of those high energy, high intense people. When I was younger, I had anger issues. Growing up, I was like always on the go. I didn't want to sit. I thought things like that were boring. You could never get me to meditate. I am very spiritual, but I wasn't the type to ever sit and meditate. And I still don't, just so I'm going to let you know, this medit morning, medit morning practice does not involve a long meditation. It can, but it doesn't have to. Have to. And what I found is that I, could, I would get caught up in other people's stress and things that were happening in the day because I never spent time in the morning grounding into me or actually focusing on what I actually want to create, how I want to be that day. And Danielle Laporte years and years ago had about picking or how you want to feel through the day. Like what emotion do you want to feel through the day? And I think that's kind of what I start. I'm like, oh, that's strange. I mean, you actually choose the emotion you want to feel. You're not just reacting. <laughs> I always used to just react, right, to whatever was happening around me. Frustrated, angry, happy, joy, funny, sad, fearful, right? We just react to other people's stuff, to things that are happening at work, real thinking we don't have any control. Well, I'm this way because that person did that, or I'm, I'm acting like this because this happened, right? That is not the way it has to be. And learning that and practicing what I'm going to show you today, talk about today has made profound, a profound. I am so much more a calm person, living more at peace and calm which really grounds you and makes you feel good. 
and actually it's in a way of like you just feel more I'm a control freak right I like to control things and I'm trying to work on that too but you do feel more in control of your life your life and your emotions it doesn't feel like such a roller coaster so the first thing I want you to know is that we get to choose our state of being and most people do not so choosing your state of being is this is going on around me I see it it's like almost like you're just in this observer observer mode I see this is happening I hear it's happening it's not like we get to be in our world like our world but we're also in the outer world so it's like I get to choose how I react respond to this that's going on so it's almost like you need to slow down inside while the world is crazy on the outside and just focus on that right oh interesting this is happening now hmm, how am I choosing to react oh interesting this is happening now that person saying this how am I choosing to react and one of the best ways to be in that state to gain practice is to do a morning practice or ritual where first thing in the morning you're starting to be more conscious about you your body how it feels where your thoughts are learning to direct your thoughts and in, in being intentional about your day okay so one of the things that I do before I even get out of bed so for people who don't have a lot of time in the morning then before you even get out of bed it's like I lay I don't even my eyes aren't even open yet I just put my hand on my heart and I do some deep breathing and I connect to me good morning right and I'll usually say some gratitude oh I'm so happy and grateful for this day thank you so much for this day you can say things like miracles are gonna come um, I can't wait to see what miracles are happening today I can't wait to see um, how wonderful the day is going to be for me so you can say things like that you could also do gratitude like I'm so grateful for my dog I'm so grateful for this place I get to live I'm so grateful for this amazing day right it's grounding us into ourselves hold grab you know touch your body feel your breath that's helping you connect to you not be up here and out there you want to connect to you and it also starts stay in a positive way right so intentional grateful thank you say some mantras whatever and that can take maybe two minutes that's it and then you can get out of bed right and that in in itself is totally powerful because lots of times people wake up and they let their thoughts go into crazy thoughts like oh this is going to be such a busy day I got so much to do oh my god I'm gonna it's gonna be crazy hello for the people who are here comment below let me know you're here let me know who's here I'll say hello and let me know do you have a morning practice and what is it comment below do you have a morning practice yes or no and if you do what do you do for your morning practice comment below I've just been talking about how important it is to be intentional to connect to ourselves to be fully present with ourselves and start the day um, in a positive way saying it without feeling you mean if you're don't feel let's say grateful or you don't feel like you could have miracles happen that day is that what it is Catherine is that what you mean let me know do 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 Come on, say hello when you come on and let me know if you have a morning practice and if uh, if you do, what do you do? Catherine just asked a question. She said, saying it without feeling it, will that help one feel better? So I'm going to answer that. I'm just going to make sure she, I got that right. If you think, oh, but I don't have, you always, for one thing, you can always find something to be grateful for. Yes, Lisa, so I'm glad you're here. For sure you do looks like car here is here and CA is here perfect um, yeah so Catherine if you don't I know what people say why say an affirmation if you don't feel it right this is what you can do instead 
So when you have gratitude statements first thing in the morning, that's before you get out of bed, close your eyes, before you even open your eyes in the morning, connect to your heart, connect to your body. I'm so happy and grateful for. You can say things you're grateful for. There's always things to be grateful for. Ah, then you really need to do this, Catherine. If you wake up and you automatically feel unhappy, that's a habit. That's a habit that you're perpetuating, that you're choosing. You're actually choosing that. So this is going to be really helpful for you. Um, so we basically choose the state of being we get to be in and the emotions we're feeling. When something bad happens in the moment, we're going to feel angry, and that's totally fine. So I'm not saying it's not ter it's not good to not bad to feel angry. It's not. When something terrible, we we feel the emotion in the moment that that's happening. But when you feel negative bad emotions when nothing is happening around you that's where you get to change it okay so when you first wake up yes hand on your heart breathing connect to your body oh thank you for this day and if you don't quite feel it then yes keep saying it and find something to be grateful for right like I'm so happy and grateful for what I'm happy and grateful that I have a bed to sleep in I'm happy and grateful that I'm not homeless I'm so happy and grateful that I have a roof over my head I'm happy and grateful that I have a warm bed I'm happy and grateful that I have fresh water all of those things right so you can start with things you you know are true and that you can truly feel and then that you will see that you're like wow okay I can say things that I believe in I can find things right it's so so important and then when you get up then it's like time I go sit on my couch or make coffee or whatever some people just go sit on the couch and do a little bit of meditation to me I connect to myself and take time for breathing and being present when I am in bed then I get up and I make my coffee and I bring it to my lemon water and I sit down and um, I pull cards or or another thing you can do is like, you know, you're just sitting, sitting up really nice and tall, just breathing again and focusing and just you can count your breath, right? Four inhale into the nose, five or six exhale out through the mouth. Put a timer on for five minutes, even three minutes and that's it. Honest to God, right? So things like that is how you can start then being intentional about your day is what we're going to talk about next so most people walk around and let like I said other people's stuff come into them that means oh my god they take it in because they're so focused on it when our focus is so much on what's outside of us and not what is in us we are absorbing it taking it in and it's going all through us and it's affecting us our nervous system it's affecting everything right so when we know that when we can sense we're being disturbed by what's around us then it's not taking a deep breath and I'm letting this get to me what am I choosing instead so in the morning when you have that grounded practice so how much time do you guys have or allow yourself to have in the morning before you get up and rush out the door give me some idea and I'll see what I see how we where we are here how much time do you have in the morning before you rush out the door oh I gotta look at women creating someone might be okay Whoop. I'm just checking my Facebook page on this one <laughs> how much time do you guys have in the morning put it in a comment below hi Denise let me know. Fortunately, I'm a rush, always rushing and running behind. <laughs> Who else? How well? How much time do you give yourself in the morning?
Yeah, I'm gonna say. I know it's so delayed, right? When I talk 45 minutes. Oh, that's perfect, Denise. Good one. Yes. It depends on what time you start work. But when I started work, I worked at a, uh, as a chef at this raw vegan place, and I started work at 6.30. I got up at 5.15. So, um, one hour. That's good. So here's, it makes such a huge difference. So if you're just getting up and rushing out, no matter what time you have to get up and go out in the morning, you are starting your day, and all your focus is outside of you, and you will always feel rushed, stressed, and too busy to do anything. Okay? So what you got to do is train you, your body, tell God, source, universe, I get to have time for me. That's what this morning practice helps you with. It's like, it's a discipline to help you realize your worth, right? I get to have time for me. I get to spend time doing something that feels really good. I get to do this, right? That is part of it. So it's stepping into your power, claiming it for you. Yeah. So when you get up, when you get up early to do your morning practice, at first you have to discipline yourself, but it'll feel so good. You'll look forward to it and it'll be like, oh, and the days you miss it, you'll be, it, you'll notice the difference, right? So it's not, it's always going to take discipline, but it's time that we step into our power, right? And decide this is important for me. So if it's really important to me, then I'm going to do it. So I'm going to commit to this and I'm going to do a seven day this. We're going to do, uh, it's a free thing. We're going to go for seven days. So you guys all should be there if you have problems. Um, so you get up earlier. You set your, and you get out of bed. Now, Mel Robbins has that five second rule, right? You get out of bed. Don't, no more. It's like we go into our head. That's what happens. We go into our head. And we, we tell ourselves we don't want to get up, don't want to get up, don't want to get up. So you put your hand on your heart, do that breathing, right? First thing in the morning, breathing, connect to you, gratitude, whatever, two minutes, whatever, one minute. Get up. Right away, get up. Because you are, again, you get to relax. You get to relax. This is not about an exercise thing in the morning. You're going to relax so whether you have tea, whether you have coffee, I'd like you to have hot water first, right? Whatever you want to do, get that ready, and then you go sit down. If you have 15 minutes, when you slow down, you take time. So when you sit down, right, with your coffee, tea, whatever you want to have, and you have 15 minutes, you give yourself 15 minutes, you are going to be fully present. Fully present. Set a timer if you need to and just go, wow, I get to be so relaxed for 15 minutes. Oh, I get to sit here and just fully relax. Right? Take a few breaths. Close your eyes if you want when you're there. Then we're going to choose what you decide to do. Right? Right? So I'm going to say, so there's a few things. If your mind is running on all the things, because when we relax, what happens? Our to-do list comes up. We start to remember things. Write down the to-do list, put it off to the side. Do it fast. Then sit there. Then if you have a day and you feel like you're starting to go, oh my God, I'm dreading this, then Hand on your heart. I choose. You know what? This day, I'm choosing that this day is going to go smoothly. I'm choosing it right now. This day is going to go smoothly. Or if you have a meeting or a conversation, right? Connect your heart. Connect your body. Tell yourself. Tell the God, source, universe. This day is going to be great. This day is going to go smooth. I'm choosing for this day to go great. I'm choosing. That's like setting an intention. So you could set an intention, whatever works in your life, right? Like, so if you're going through something or if it's just a regular day, I'm choosing to have an amazing day. I'm choosing to have a feel good day. I'm choosing to feel good today. So for Catherine, 
<laughs> you can just say, you know what? I'm going to choose to feel good today. I am. Or I want to choose to come from a loving place. When I meet people, I'm going to be loving. I'm just going to be loving today. That. How long did that take? Like literally that takes a couple seconds. It's more powerful, of course, if you write it down in a journal. I'm choosing to be whatever for today, right? And then so if someone doesn't have a lot of time, you could do that and then write out some gratitude statements in your journal. And that's even that, you know what I mean? Before you so is good for a morning practice. And that may only take you 10 minutes. So everybody has time. But of course, it's nice to be take longer. But I'm saying there is no way that someone does not have time for that. OK, and that starts your day intentional in a relaxed way. When you breathe, you calm your nervous system, you slow your heart rate down, you connect to your body. You're telling your instruct because we create through our words, our thoughts, our beliefs, our actions. So you need to tell God source universe you what your day is going to be like, what you're choosing, and what's going to happen. Now, does it always turn out perfect? No, but isn't it better? <laughs> isn't it better to know, to check in, and to choose? At least choose, right? Um, so that's the best way to, a really good way to start. Now, I start to connect more to your heart, to your intuition for those who want to know you know, have, get answers from your guides or from your intuition. The way I started was, I forgot to bring these, was um, some angel cards. This was years ago. Um, I started with using angel cards and, you know, shuffling them and just saying, what's the message for me today? What's the message for me today? And then I'd pull a card. Sometimes I'd pull more than one, depends on your time. But this is a really good thing to do, even when you don't have a lot of time, because it's very fast. You can pull a card, and they always have positive messages. So again, you're, you're bringing in a positive message. And I believe that the card I pull is the message I need to hear. So you have that belief, too. Go, you know. So there's angel cards, there's tarot cards, there's... Um, um, Daniel uh, Gabriel Bernstein has cards. Uh, Esther Hicks has cards, Law of Attraction cards. You can always find a card deck that you like. And this is how I started listening. I'm like okay, believing that I was getting, you know, an answer. I was getting guidance from me, my higher source, guides, whatever. And then I was like, oh, thank you for this beautiful message. So that's another way that you can start slow, start tuning in, uh, connecting to the body. Building that faith in yourself, a higher power, your intuition, right? Okay, what else did I write down? And for those who sit all day, after something like this, before you get up and go to work, it's always a good idea to do some sort of movement, even if it means dance or fluid movement, stretching, right? Tall, long, and then just bending forward and then bringing up again and just doing a fluid moment. You know, you do it for a couple minutes, not even, right? Just move your body a little bit. You can go for a walk outside if you have more time, which is a really great thing to do. Now, I'm going to talk about two other things um, that are really important and that I've done that make a huge difference. And if you guys come into the... I haven't done the sign-up page. I had a really bad headache. I was off all day yesterday. I'm going to have a sign-up page for those who want to do a seven-day challenge or whatever of morning practices and you'll get handouts and stuff so another really positive thing is is to write in a journal and you some people don't like journaling so i'm going to give you two examples of journaling things you can do one of course you know gratitude statements we all know that one is um statements have you guys heard of i am statements like i am which means Instead of saying, I wish, you'd say, I am. Because when you say, I am, you are declaring it, that that is true. So you would never say, I am angry, or I am a bitch. <laughs> you would say, I feel angry, I feel bitchy, I feel sad, 
I feel depressed, right? Because of just feelings. I am statements um, are super powerful. When you, whatever you say after the I am, you are stating that it is true and it is a fact for you. So watch what you say after I am. Here's some, I'm just going to read them, but if you guys join the seven day, you'll get this as a handout. I am powerful. I am amazing. I am worthy. I am deserving. If you guys want to play along, put your hand on your heart. I am all that is. I am healthy. I am loving. I am loved. I am doing my best. I am always guided. I am always supported. I am nurtured. I am nurturing. I am kind to myself. I am loving to myself. I am loving to others. I am feeling, feeding my body amazing healthy foods. I am moving my body in a way that feels great to me. I am conscious of my thoughts and words. <laughs> I am loving this experience. I am le learning every day. I am evolving. I am having fun on this journey. I am living consciously. So we can do so many statements like that. You can recite them like I do this in my car. If I'm feeling down, flat, if I'm feeling off, I it's like mantras. It's like change your thoughts. Don't let the whirlwind put something new there. That's what these are. And then for someone who feels I can't say I am loving right now. So then you would say I choose to be loving. Right? It's like I am making a choice to be this right i am choosing what is best for me i am choosing to support others in their choices when we don't always agree with someone i am choosing to believe all is working out for me i am choosing new thoughts that support me i am choosing to stand in my power i am choosing to know that life is getting better and better i am choosing to focus on my desires I am choosing to believe I am worthy of my desires. I am choosing to know I have time for me. To see how all those things, just by saying them, right? I am choosing. It's a powerful statement. It's an I am statement. And it's also like a declaration, right? This is what I'm choosing to be in my life. I'm choosing my life. I'm choosing my life. I'm directing, I'm designing, I'm the star. <laughs> I am choosing my life. So remember you, this is all about you choosing your life, not letting other things around you choose the life for you. Choose what your life is like and choose what you feel. You're the one letting that happen. When you let, when you do that, you let it happen to you, right? Do you guys have any questions? I have a couple more things to cover. And I know I talk fast and I talk a lot. I'm trying to slow down. Do you have any questions or comments or any? But Diana, I don't think this would work for me. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to go back to the. Yeah, any questions? Oops, let's see if I so. There's a big delay, a long delay, because I still see myself talking. So, <laughs> any questions or comments before I start on the other two things? Okay, I just want to make sure I got your. If you have a circumstance that you're curious, well, how is it going to work? Let me know. That's what I can help you with right now. Okay. So the other, those I choose statements, those um, I am statements, very, very powerful when you write them out. But you can, if you're driving to work, you can recite them. You can say them. Just say anything that comes to your mind may take a while before you get in. Like I wrote those. It's even more than there. I just wrote them in like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I just kept writing them. They're so second nature to me. 
Um, so another one is scripting, which you guys might have heard about scripting, and there's lots of videos online. It is writing out how you want your life to be. Now, you can write out how you want your future future to be. You can even just write out how you want your day to be. That's right. You can write out how you want one aspect of your life to be. Right? I'm so happy and grateful that. That's the way I usually start it. I'm so happy and grateful that. And um, that, oh my God, I love, like, when I do it for what I envision for my life, I will say things like, ah, oh, I love being in Mexico for the winter. I absolutely love being in Mexico for the winter. I love eating the food. I know there are so many amazing restaurants that I get to go to. I just love the food. I love the culture. I love that I'm learning Spanish so well. I love that I get to be in the sun. That's how I'll write it out. I love that. It feels so good. So it's kind of like it's in the present moment, but... You're not saying, oh, here I am in Mexico right now, right? Like it's like more like, oh my God, I love. And I want a camper van. So I'm like, I love my camper van. Thank you very much for my camper van. I'm so excited to go traveling in my camper van. Oh my God, I love the camper van. And then I'll write out where I go, right? I love that I get to travel around the islands in the summertime. It feels amazing. Bailey loves the camper van, you know, my dog. And I get to travel to Alberta and see my family and friends and that I don't have to worry about a place to stay because I'll just stay in my camper van. Like that's how I write out. So it's like goal setting in a way. It's like it's like visioning. It's like um, visualizing. But I do it. I visualize as I'm writing. Okay. And sometimes your mind tends to go to the blah, blah, blah. You know, but I don't have it and you'll feel sad. This happens at the beginning when you first start these practices because the old you your ego wants to tell you you don't have that there's no reason for you to be happy why are you saying you're grateful you don't have that don't be so stupid right that is not the true you that is not the true you who are you really you are this source spirit being that gets to have everything we know the world is like this matrix. It's here for us to play in. We get to figure it out how this works because we get to have things we want, right? We get to have things we want. So we get to figure out how everything works so we can get, in other words, right? So it's like you're playing with the universe. But you better be telling God, source, universe what you want. Otherwise, you're not going to get It's like, I'm choosing this to happen. Um, I don't do it every morning now, Catherine. I used to, yes. Absolutely, I used to. Now, I will say it as I'm driving. I will focus on it at certain times during the day. But when I do it in the morning, it's the best. I do choose mostly to do it in the morning. And sometimes I take a long time. Sometimes I only write a few sentences because it depends on the time I have. So absolutely, like if I don't have a lot of time, this is what I do. I love my camper van. Thank you very much. I love my new vehicle. Thank you very much. I love winters in Mexico. Oh my God, I love them. Thank you. Like I'll write out that on the piece of paper. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like I'm thanking for the experience. I'm thanking as if it's here. Thank you for this. Oh my God, this is amazing. So I'll just write out a few lines. If I have more time, I'll write out like a scene, you know. And another thing that's really powerful is to imagine, a, like, so here's what I would do to imagine what I, yeah, a beautiful part of life it is. What I imagine, I want to be in the Okanagan in the summertime, for lots of the summertime, and I want to be in Mexico for the winter. And I want to be maybe travel around here a bit. So I see myself driving. I see myself all of a sudden in the Okanagan at a lake. Like I'll visualize that. Then I'll see me get in my camper van. Then I'll be driving and then I'll be camping on an island. Like I just see it. It doesn't have to, it doesn't take long. You just visualize like, um, so if you have a scene of you with all the things you kind of desired lumped in, and you feel that, oh, that'd feel amazing. I feel the sun on my face. That would feel amazing. Ah, right? 
And if you take one minute, honestly, put a timer, you'll be amazed at how long one minute is. And you just sit and you close your eyes and you imagine a scene. So th that's what I'm saying is this does not take long. It doesn't have to take long. It just requires focus and attention. And focus is what we're missing. We're too busy scrolling. We're too busy getting caught up in a million things, right? I can have my, I can be looking at Facebook. I can have a YouTube video playing and I can be checking what's new on Netflix all at the same time. And I'll do that. That's how unfocused we are. So our attention span and focus has gotten worse and worse and worse. I know that we've all been around for a lot of years. It has, hasn't it? So having this morning time takes focus. It, you're like, I'm doing this, then I will check my phone. Okay, then I'll check my phone. Then I'll check my phone. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't start because once you check Facebook, you're doing that. And then you've just messed up your beautiful morning time. So the seven days we're going to do, we might do 10 days. I'm trying to decide, okay? But watch for the information. I will be, um, I think I get, you guys comment below and then I'll notify you of about the, the it's going to be free, the seven to 10 days, okay? So let me know you want to do it, and then I can message you with the information when we start and stuff. But um, that's how important this is, right? So scripting is another really cool thing we you can do. And um, I have a couple other things for you before we go. Because I'm just giving you a lot right now. But um, just so you have an example of different things, and you would pick and choose, right? Okay, I have this much time. So, you know, and then I'll go over it at the end. So let me just talk about these other couple things. Um, there are more so statements that you could write out and paste on your bathroom mirror, have on your computer, have at your work desk, put it in your purse, whatever, okay? Um, yeah, for sure, of course. It's just about choosing to have a morning practice and every morning you're going to have one. It'll be done in my Facebook group, women. And I'll be just making sure you guys have your morning practices. I'll be putting examples of different things in it. Okay, here we go. So there are statements you can say if you're dealing with something. There's an old book. It's called The Game of Life and How to Play It. And here are some certain things she says. When you are dealing with something that seems like too much in your life, like I can't handle this. Oh my God, this is, I don't know what I'm going to do. You can say, I cast the burden of whatever. These are her words, to the Christ within, because this is written in 1925. Or to God, right? Like I cast the burden. That means I'm handing this over to you, God, source universe, because it is too much. And I don't know the answer. And I need help. I need guidance. I need support. So these are things you can include, too, if you're dealing with a tough time in your life. That's, and we forget to do this. We go, please God, please God, right? Instead of, instead of, let's just relax. It's like a prayer, right? I cast the burden of this to you, God. Thank you for your help and support and guidance on this. I know that you are going to help me, right? So it's just like a positive thing that you're like, uh, when you do that, you will know that help will be there for you. So it has that faith. So we want to build the faith, right? Or you could say infinite spirit, open the way for this new job that I want to do, right? It's just different wording. And I can help with that in the, the seven day challenge or whatever. <clears throat> when you want a strong statement because you're really working at something happening, right? Like you need money now or you need... um support right now because something hard's happening in your life or you feel like you're going to crack or have a nervous, nervous breakdown so you're like I need help right now and there's statements you can use you know that I can give you that will help so that you you just write that statement and you memorize it and you just say it and you believe it 
I have said many times that if I'm in a bad mood, a down mood, feeling like I, I want to give up, I can't, I don't even know. I have just said things like angels, God, source, infinite wisdom, whatever. I need your help right now. I don't want to feel like this. This isn't right. I want to be loving. I want to feel love. I want to feel joy. Please help me. Show me the way. And taken some breaths and taken some breaths and said that a few times. And then I just let it go. And within right away, sometimes five minutes, seven minutes, sometimes one hour, I will notice, oh, wow, I feel so much better. Or I'll watch a video that I'll have the exact answer I'm looking for. Or someone will message something. Or I'll be like, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Right? So remember, this is also about your power in asking for what you want and what you need. Right? Developing that invisible faith. Faith, trust in yourself because you can handle everything. And faith, trust in the God source universe that when you ask, it is given. Because we've heard that many times. It feels like bullshit. <laughs> but it really isn't. It's just that we block it or we don't believe it. So it's building your belief in yourself, right? I give thanks. So when we go infinite spirit, open the way for money to come flowing into my life. I give thanks that it manifests now under grace in a perfect way. There's many statements we can use, but whatever you need, right? It's like, wow, thank you. Like infinite spirit or God source universe. Open the way. Show me the way for this to come into my life. Open the way for this to be in my life. I'm open to receiving this, right? I'm open to receiving this. Thank you. Or I give thanks that it manifests now under grace in a perfect way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Things like that, right? So the morning ritual is, <clears throat> it really doesn't matter what you do or what you choose to do, but these are examples of things you can do. And it's really about being calm, centered, grounded, present with yourself, not out there, which is, we mean, on Facebook, on, a, on an app, on anything, even your email. Don't do that. Take time for you. No matter how long you have in the morning, you can always take time for you. So I gave you guys some suggestions. I know I went quite fast. You can all, I'd say watch this again. You might take things out of it. Um, you might not have watched from the beginning, so watch from the beginning. Um... Yeah, so even if you know statements, you can look up quotes, right? Self-worth quotes. Write them out on little things. Put them on your mirror. Put them in your purse. Put them on your computer, right? Like do something like that too. You want to continually see, say, feel, hear. When you talk, you hear yourself, right? These positive messages. And it was great when they relate to your life. Right? Like it's nice to have a whole bunch of affirmations to read, but when they're specific to what you need, what you desire, um, all of those things, that's what makes such a difference. So for this morning practice, you're going to pick right something, your intention for the day that relates to you, what you need to hear for that day, what you want to create that day, uh, what you want to create in your life, all of that type of stuff. And... You know, if you want, go grab some cards, go to a place that has cards and just see which ones feel good to you, look good to you, seem good to you. And just start with that and just start by picking one or three cards, whatever, in the morning. But taking that time for you. All right. So was that helpful? Did you guys find this helpful? And do you have any questions? I'm just refreshing and letting things. Good. 
And the seven or 10 day practice will, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be up first thing in the morning with me. We're all on different time zones, whoever but will be in it. It'll just be you check in for the Facebook post or you yourself keep yourself accountable that every day, right? Every day you'll be doing something. Oh, you're so welcome, Catherine. Thank you guys for being live. I appreciate it so much. Please feel free to share the video or, uh, yeah, if you want to share, great. And be, um, what's I going to say? I will be send. I will be getting information in the next few days about the dates when we're going to do it. Super easy. It's not going to be complicated. All right. So much love to you guys. Thank you for being here and for committing to you. Okay. Bye.